Hello! In this video I will show you how it's possible to modify XML string with SQL. For example, we have basic XML string like you see on the screen right now. We assign this XML string to the variable XML underscore string. And then we start to make different changes of the XML. If we need to delete any node from the XML string, then we can use the following command in SQL. It is a variable modify and inside the modify we should write special command delete and indicate the path to the node which we are gonna to delete. In this case it should be deleted or uh, ship order ship to name. It is right here. So and in order to check the result let's show the variable after modification. Let's execute it right now. So we got a result and we see that in result we don't have name element anymore. You see. So uh, we did this trick. Now we can come to the next one. If we need to insert any new node somewhere in the XML, then we can use another command, insert. However, starting of the SQL command will be the same, set XML variable, modify, and then inside the brackets we should put insert the name of the new node and we should indicate after which element we want to place this new node. As well, instead of after, can be used many other commands like before, at, uh, like uh, last, first and so on. You will be able to find these commands in, uh, in other my videos. As a result, this command should insert new node into the second child of lines after the product node. It will be somewhere over here. Let's execute this query and check the result. So, as you see, new node, product nodes, appear in the XML. With the next command, we will replace the value of any element in the XML. In order to replace, we should use command replace value of. In this particular example, we write the script which will replace the price in the second child of the lines. Second child, second child node of the lines is here, price is over there. And uh, we define the value which should be instead of previous value. Yes, instead of 1, 2, 3, 4 should be 6, 5, 4, 3. Let's execute these commands and check the result. Command executed, result is over here. As we see in the result, new price for the second child node is 6, 5, 
four, three. Great. Then, in the next example, I will show you how it's possible dynamically to change XML structure in case if you need to place values which you have stored in the variables. In this case, we will declare variable remarks and assign the value order remarks to that. And then we will use the same command XML string modify and inside the brackets we will put the keywords insert element name of the new node remarks then we should indicate the variable we should be taking from the SQL and where it should be placed in this example it should be placed last as a last record in XML node ship order. It means it will be placed in this node and the last is will be some, somewhere over here. Let's execute it and check the result. So as you see we get new entry or new node in the XML at the very end. I hope you understand different possibilities of uh, SQL for modification of uh, XML and it will be beneficial for you. Bye bye!